I have Paul Streiner here, part of our Charlotte Film Community. Who are you? Family. Who I don't you? know. Who am I? It's the end of the night, so I could be anybody you want me to be. It's Catherine Trail. <laughs> anybody. It's Catherine Trail. I have Paul Hi, Catherine. Hi, Hi Catherine. Paul. Give me a kiss. Oh, <laughs> that's so easy. Piece of cake. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Try it. Go ahead. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Honey, let me tell you. You... I, you made big news tonight. With really? Zombie King okay. and Devil's Crossing. My gosh. No, we're having so much fun. Everybody here is so cool. I know. I, you know, when, when you make a project, you know, like any one of these projects, you, it's it's like when you when you come to one of these events and you've been in the community here in Charlotte. And Charlotte, by the way, a lot of people don't know that once you once you once you've been to L.A., New York, Toronto, Canada, the Carolinas are huge in film. You know, I mean, obviously Wilmington and Charlotte's big, and it's it's just I feel honored. I feel I feel um I feel really fortunate to to be able to you know make creative projects with these people. We're making our dreams come true, even in Charlotte. You know what? I heard so many good comments about your Zombie Kings tonight, and I yeah. hear that you're going to make a feature. Yes. Tell yeah. me about it. No, I can't no. tell you. Oh, just give me another kiss, right? Right here. No. <laughs> no, really, honestly, Zombie Kings will be a feature. We're still working on the script. Um, we've got people interested in funding it, which is very exciting. Yeah. But there's the I'm working with Ryan Gary on Devil's Crossing right now, obviously, yeah. Yeah. and uh, his company has offered me uh, to uh, a, 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 an opportunity to produce their next film. Uh, so we'll probably do that first. But but as we're getting as we're getting our legs as we're as we're getting our legs as a team. And as, as we're developing our process and becoming more and more efficient, um, I, I think I believe things will come faster. You I agree. Know? I agree. You know, so. My friend Paul Steiner, man, I tell you, he's on a roll, and he's cute too. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. You're a blast. I love you. And I have Chris Walters here. If you're ever uh, going to a play and you don't have anyone to sit with, call Chris. <laughs> he's really good at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, tell me, you've been in Devil's Crossing? Uh, yeah. Tell me about your character. Uh, well, uh, my, my, my character's name is McDermott, and uh, he's like the uh, the biggest, baddest mofo in town. You know, I'm trying to keep the language clean. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Until, until, until these supernatural guys show up, and then I, I'm just way outclassed. And, you, just, you just lose it. Huh? Yeah. So, did Martin Berry get a hold of you for, for this special effects makeup? I, no, well, he, he was there every time we had the zombies and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, the, the, the only special effects type makeup I had was, was just blood and stuff. So Blood and stuff is pretty good. It's, it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. That's great. Well, what's next for you? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, I'm just uh, just looking around, seeing seeing what I can get rolling. You know, that's it's gonna be good. Chris so. Walters, everybody. Okay. Devil's Crossing. Watch out. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> hey, and I have my good friend Brian Reynolds here, makeup man extraordinaire. Brian, you've been busy lately. Tell me what you've been into. Uh, I have been a little bit busy, um, you know, keeping, you know, all kinds of things going on. So it's kind of hard to keep track. But yeah. I've heard that you did an interview with the George Poulos below the lunch show. I, I did do an interview with him, and um, and that's it's great because I get to work on that show too. So I am now a little bit behind the scenes and a little bit, you know, in front of the camera now. So that's uh, pretty yes. good. I hear that you have an exciting weekend coming up. Um, well, yeah, this weekend we're actually starting doing the, um, it's the trailer for Abomination. Uh, I guess you could call it, I have a kind of a financial trailer for financing. Right. Um, so we're doing that, and um, I just finished doing uh, a week of aphasia last week, and that was really great. Yes. Very inspirational story. I definitely recommend checking that out. Yeah, a lot of folks have been working on aphasia. Yes. Uh, tell me about your blog. You have something coming up. I do, I do. It's called Behind the Makeup. It's uh, focusing on makeup artists from behind the actual makeup chair and focusing on their work and interviewing makeup artists doing product reviews and um, all kinds of different things like that too so it should be a lot of fun the address is actually uh, brianmakeup.wordpress.com you can also do a, just do a google for behind the makeup and you'll find me too excellent brian reynolds thanks. thanks so much most beautiful bride in the world, Heather Gilliland. We just worked last week on wedding day. Yes. 
That's Charmish in the background. You played the bride. Yes. It was real a really good, funny shoot. It was. It was, it was fun. fun. Tell me about your character and what happened today. <laughs> I was the um, bride and basically the groom is having a nightmare about his real wedding day and it turns into this mess. And I turn into a money grubbing bride, and <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. <laughs> I was so sweet. <laughs> uh, and, the, and the groom actually was Joe Gerard. Yes. Uh, he's a radio announcer. Yes. He just got promoted to a job in Charleston, though. He was one in Greenville, yes. and it, he was fun to work with. We did mostly improv the whole time. Oh, so. he was really good. Yeah. He was funny. Wasn't but he? You were good too, uh, might I add, Miss Dominatrix. Well, I was part of the nightmare. <laughs> And no one will ever be the same. <laughs> but it was so good to work with you. And I it was good get to working work with together. you, too. <laughs> Heather Gilliland. Mm -hmm. And I have the sweet Ginger and Owl Curl here. Two of our very good friends of the Charlotte film community. They are so active in film. And, boy, you guys just do everything. And Ginger is the woo girl yes. for that North woo! Carolina lottery. Do that for us. Woo! <laughs> and I sat there and watched her. And you did, Al. <laughs> now, you all both worked on aphasia this weekend. Yes, yes. yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh, that was great. You know, you gave your time and effort for a good cause. Oh, that's great. Really. So many people were involved in that. It was so Oh, it was oh, heartwarming. The whole community. The whole film community. That's and the backstage community, too. Everyone. All the technical crew. And they got major donations for equipment. I mean, to lease, you know, but yeah. it was fantastic. That's great. It what, really was. What did you all do in it? <laughs> we were the Walmart greeters. We, no, no, we are. <laughs> Welcome I can to see Walmart. That. <laughs> Actually, we couldn't say Walmart. No. Right. Okay. We had to say, Welcome. Welcome, yeah. but we knew. Who yeah, you everybody were. knew. Well, I think everybody was just so pleased to be part of it. That's and that so was the whole thing. And they we're so happy, I'm sure, to have you there. Oh, well, we, we loved it. We loved it. That's great. Yeah. Al and Ginger Curl, these two are such an inspiration to us. Uh, and we love it. Thank and you, And what's your North Carolina lottery line? Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Get a winning ticket. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Take care.